Hello, my name is Mike Stevenson with Omron Industrial Automation. I'm going to show you how easy it is to automatically create an I.O. table in CX Programmer. The I.O. table is a snapshot of the I.O. and communication modules on a CPU bus and associated configurations and settings. Right now I have a CX Programmer project file opened that is empty of any settings and programming. We're going to create the I.O. table so we can start programming a new application. Let's get started. To view the I.O. table, simply double-click the I.O. table and unit setup item in the project tree. Notice that the main rack currently shows no modules attached to the PLC CPU, and CX Programmer is showing an error condition. Also notice in the video window on the bottom right, the CPU and two modules are showing error conditions indicated by the red LEDs. This indicates that there's a problem due to not having an I.O. table. The rack consists of a CJ2M CPU, an SCU21 serial module, a mixed I.O. analog module, a relay output module, and an AC input module. To fix this problem, we're going to create the I.O. table. First, make sure that main rack is selected, then select Options, Create. Select Yes to confirm that you'd like to create an I.O. table. Select Yes to initialize the CPU bus settings. This will clear out any module settings that may exist from previous applications. Make sure both I.O. table and S.I.O. unit parameters are selected. This will allow CX Programmer to upload the I.O. table and special I.O. settings after the I.O. table is created. Now press the Transfer button. After a few seconds, the Transfer Results dialog box will be displayed showing the result of our I.O. table creation. In this case, we created our I.O. table that contains our modules. Module 0 is the SCU21 serial module. Module 1 is the MAD42 mixed I.O. module. Module 2 is the OC201 relay output module. And Module 3 is the IA111 AC input module. Also notice that the PLC CPU in each module no longer display error conditions. As you can see, it's very easy to create an I.O. table in CX Programmer. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. I hope it was beneficial.